Welcome to LVA. This is our Wickerbill installation video. Follow the steps in this video to get a perfect install for your LVA Wickerbill. All right. Now the first thing that's gonna happen when you get your wicker bill from UPS and they drop it off is you're gonna have to open it. Once you get it and you have to open it, you're gonna note this bright orange sticker right at the top of your wicker bill. This is gonna say, do not open with a sharp object. Now it's a little misleading. You are gonna have to use a sharp object to open this. This is just to make sure that you know that you can scratch the wicker bill, you know, if you don't open this correctly. So before we dive into the install, Let's uh, show you how you want to open this. You're going to make three slits. The first slit is going to be right here along this edge with our branded tape. So you're just going to go ahead, slice down the entire box along this edge. Now you don't want to press too far into the box or you might damage your product and that is not what you want to do. Once you get down to this edge, you're going to want to slice along the top as well. Repeat that on the other side. Perfect. And this is going to allow you to open the package up and reveal your order. All right, so once you get everything open, this is what you're going to be left with. This is what you ordered. It's your wicker bill. I know looks like a mess of tape and packaging material, but that's on purpose. So you're going to pull everything out. First thing you want to do is grab your accessory bag. All right. This is going to have everything you need to get your installation done. Your LVA decal and your hardware are going to be located in this bag. So do not throw it out. After that, remove your wicker bill from the box and we're going to go through and we're going to remove all this tape, packaging material, wood and reinforcements and then we'll show you in the next step what comes in the box. Once we've got everything wrapped or unwrapped and out of the box, this is what you're going to be left with. This right here is going to come out of that LVA bag. This is your packing slip. First thing I'm going to want you to do is look at the packing slip and right up here under the category wicker bill, just make sure that what we wrote in here matches your order. Um, for this one, this could be a 2014 to 15 Wena Lee wicker bill. Just double check, it says it on here. We know we've got the right piece before we even start installing. Moving on downwards, the other two items from that bag are gonna be your wicker bill hardware in the color that you selected with your order, as well as an LVA decal. Now inside this box, and I'm assuming you've already seen this since you're watching the video, but if you haven't, there's gonna be a QR code card which will take you directly to our installation resource on the website. And that's gonna link you to the guides and this video as well. Now the remaining two items are what you spend your money on. You're gonna have your LVA wicker bill. You know, right now um, it is not white, don't fear. It is black underneath. This is a protective film that will remove after the installation. And then you're gonna have your centerpiece in either a clear or tinted finish. Do not remove your centerpiece from the plastic sleeve as this does not have a protective film on it and it can be scratched. So keep it in here as long as you can. Moving on, we're gonna show you all the tools that you need to get this installation done on your vehicle. First and foremost, you are gonna be drilling some holes. You're gonna need a corded or preferably cordless drill to get the job done of your choosing. After that, we're moving over. We're gonna have an assorted drill bit set um, you're going to need some small drill bits and some medium sized ones to drill pilot holes and then we're going to ultimately open up to a 23 64 or 9 millimeter drill bit. That's important. This is going to be the final size you need to get those holes drilled for your rib nuts. A couple things to make it a little bit easier. Um, a center punch to mark your holes and ensure that you're drilling where you want to be drilling. Um, a ratchet for tightening everything down. Um, again, we're using a quarter inch drive. You can use a 3 8 whatever works for you. Um, you're going to want some masking tape to protect the finish for your spoiler while you're installing the wicker build. Um, screwdriver, this is optional, but we do have a 5 seconds Allen key on the screwdriver. This is going to be the size of your LVA hardware. Um, I believe a 4 millimeter will also work as well. Of course, you're going to want a Sharpie. And then right here, these two are going to be the most important. Um, you can use one or the other. They're both rivnut tools. 
If you do not have this tool, you're not going to be able to get the installation done. Um, unfortunately, we do not provide these tools, but each wicker bill listing on our site has a direct link to Amazon, and that'll tell you exactly where to get these. It doesn't have to be the same brand, but you're going to want a M6 rivet tool, so the threads are M6. The next step is not a requirement, but it does make uh, the install a little bit easier. Uh, we're going to go ahead and lift the car. Um, you, if you want to do this, do it in whatever safe method you have. A jack, always use jack stands, or a lift is preferred. The first step of the installation process, we're going to take some masking tape. We're going to cover up the entire front leading surface here of the spoiler so we don't install any scratches while putting on this wicker bill. This will also serve as a bright background for your Sharpie. So when you make your drill marks, you'll know where to put everything. Step number two, once you have your tape and a surface to draw or write on, is we're gonna find the center line. Now, we already went ahead and found the center line here and we have it marked with these two uh, little lines. So I'm just gonna take a piece of our black tape here. Go ahead, put that right on the center so we know where to make our center hole. Now alternatively, since you won't already have it pre-marked, is on these Camaros, this third brake light, if you were to take a ruler, measure across the entire surface, obviously take that measurement, divide it by two, and go up, that's gonna be your center line, and we're gonna make sure your wicker bill is completely centered on your spoiler. After you marked your center line, you're gonna go ahead and grab the main section to your wicker bill with this white protective film on. Um, first thing I'm gonna want you to do is, go ahead and peel back the film um, to reveal the finish, because we're gonna determine which side we want facing which direction. So you're gonna have a gloss black side, and then you're also gonna have a matte black side, or I guess it's more of a satin side. Uh, for this install, we're gonna have the satin side facing us and the gloss side facing the front of the car. So I just found out this is the gloss, so we're gonna do everything satin facing back. Go ahead and keep the film on until we're done with the whole install. So the holes in the wicker bill are gonna be pre-drilled Go ahead and take your center hole, and we're gonna line the wicker bill up right on that center mark that we made. Now, the most important thing to remember here is you're gonna to wanna to make sure the bottom of the wicker bill is exactly where you want it to be. Now, each LVA wicker bill is gonna be a little bit different. I would look at our listing photos online to get a rough representation of where that's gonna be. Um, on this one, there's kind of a little line where the, the spoiler slopes down. We're gonna put that right on that line and keep it centered. So go ahead and mark your hole. Perfect. A little bullseye for the first hole. Don't worry about any of the other holes until we get this one marked and drilled out. Next step, once you have the center hole marked, go ahead and take a center punch, um, some sort of you know pointy object, and make a little indentation where we want our pilot hole to go. Perfect. After you've center punched your hole, I'm gonna start out, I believe this is a 1 16th inch drill bit to make a pilot hole. So go ahead and set that right in your center punch hole and start drilling through. Now most of these, um, most of these spoilers are gonna be plastic, so you wanna make sure you're not just ramming it through or you might actually drill through to the front side and that's gonna ruin your spoiler. So go in slow, make that first hole. Now we're gonna take this smaller bit out and we're gonna step our way up to that 23 64 or nine millimeter bit. I like to do it in two steps. Um, in theory, you could jump up after this one, but I'm gonna advise against that. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump up to a quarter inch drill bit, which is a good kind of halfway zone between the two. We're gonna repeat the process. Drill that hole, open it up a little bit larger. Okay. Again, slow drill speed. You don't want to go through the front of that spoiler. Now you might get some burrs. You can kind of go in there, clean them out. Perfect. Again, I'm going to move on now to the final drill bit, which again, for uh, reiteration purposes, it's going to be nine millimeters or 
in our case, we're gonna use the 2360 force bit. Um, these aren't any special bits. Um, I think they're, well, I mean, I guess they are special. I should have said it doesn't require special ones. We're using carbide, but anything that'll go through a mild plastic is gonna be just fine. Okay, let's open it up to the final size. Slow speed. Don't go too far. Sometimes I like to throw it in reverse before pulling it out, just to ensure all of those burrs are pulled out. All right, and now we've got enough room to insert our first riv nut. We're gonna take our, uh, you know, obviously the, the one of two riv nut guns that I showed you before. We're gonna use this single handle one. I think on a plastic wing, you have less of a chance of indenting or cracking the plastic with the, uh, the single action here. So if you wanna come in a little tighter, we're gonna take one of our provided riv nuts. This is an M6 thread, so make sure you have your M6 mandrel inserted in the riv nut gun. And we're just gonna thread this pretty much all the way down. Now, a lot of people tell you to go all the way in first. I'm gonna say back it off just a couple of turns, leave a little bit of room there. We're gonna take our rivet gun, follow up here, install this into that hole. It's a perfect fit with that drill bit. Now, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna go ahead and crank down, just gonna use a little force, all right, until that handle's bottomed out, let go. Now, it's gonna be seated in there, but it's not fully seated. So let's just go ahead and screw this until it's, you know, again, almost all the way bottomed out and give it one more pull. If it's too hard, you can loosen it a few turns. Give it another pull. Now that, that's probably gonna be enough force. If you go any further than that and you start seeing your spoiler um, dimple, um, basically by, by dimple, I mean it'll start kind of push, you know, pushing the spoiler in. You're applying too much force and you don't need it that tight. So I'd say one and a half to two full squeezes on that rib nut gun, you're good to go. Next step, uh, go ahead and pour out your uh, provided Wickerbill hardware. Make this real easy. We're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves one of these M6 button head bolts and a custom LVA washer. Grab your Wickerbill. Again, make sure the side that you want, so gloss side forward for us is the correct way. Insert the hardware into that center hole. Grab your four millimeter or five thirty seconds Allen head. And we're just gonna go ahead and thread this into that rib nut, in that center one. So, you know, continue on, just go ahead. Don't crank this down, snug it up. Now what this is gonna do, is this is gonna hold our wicker bill perfectly centered on the vehicle. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to mark the remaining holes. Um, it helps to have a buddy, someone with you, who can hold um, the other side once you have it leveled. Um, I've done this a few times, so we're gonna go ahead try to attempt this single-handed. So what you wanna do here is kinda of push it out to the ends and make sure that both sides are nice and even. Um, you don't want one sticking up past the other. Perfect. All right, so always work, whether it's drilling, marking holes, we wanna go center out. So I'm gonna hold this in place. Make sure we're even, which is proving more difficult than I expected, even though I bragged about doing it a few times. Okay. All right, I'm gonna hold that in place. Remember, center out, gonna mark that hole. Move our way down. If you have a buddy with you, go ahead, repeat that process on the other side, mark all your holes at once. However, if you're a single person, let's go ahead, let's take this wicker bill back off, and we're gonna drill and install one of the right side to ensure that when we mark the other side, this isn't moving around. Just gonna make sure all the holes are lined up. Might take you an extra 10 minutes or so, but honestly, the outcome's gonna be worth it in the end. We went ahead and we installed all of the rib nuts across the entire spoiler. This means that we're ready to go ahead and throw the wicker bill and center section onto the spoiler. Of course, make sure to remove all of your tape. Before we go ahead and we put this on, uh, we're gonna do probably the most satisfying part of this install other than the finished product. It's gonna be removing the film. So you wanna be kind of methodical with this. Hopefully my mic is picking up the sound.
Да. There we go. Got our whole wicker bill peeled and ready to go on. So I'm gonna set this down carefully on our cart. For your center section, remember how I said, keep it in the plastic as long as you can. This is the time to bring it out. So go ahead and slice one edge, slide it out carefully. Perfect. Fully polished edge, no additional charges. We're gonna go ahead into our hardware bin, go ahead and grab one of those button head M6 threaded screws as well as a custom LVA washer. That's gonna go through that center hole on our, our tinted or clear center section. All right, we're gonna hold that up. Now, if you notice, there's gonna be some small silver washers as well. A lot of people ask us where they go. These go right here, and it's gonna go between the center section and the wicker bill. Okay, go ahead and set our wicker bill on top. So now we have a little bit of a buffer between the two. Perfect. So let's move on over to the car. Again, be careful, because these things can slide around on you. We're gonna go ahead and thread that into the center hole. And this is what, I, they can slide around a little. Just don't wanna scratch anything. Again, we're not gonna be cranking this down as hard as we can. Just simply gonna get it enough to kind of see in there and not move around. All right. Now that the first one's in, we're gonna repeat that process until the entire thing is bolted up. So again, button head screw, LVA washer, that's gonna go through the, the center section. Slide this silver washer up between the main section and the center, and then into the rib nut. So I'm gonna spare you guys the time. I'm gonna go ahead, install all of this across the entire wicker bill. Keep in mind anything that doesn't have the center section, so these two end holes, your wicker bill may differ with the number of end holes, these are not gonna have the small silver washer. You're just gonna take a screw and a custom LVA washer, and you're gonna throw those through there, and that'll button everything up. One more important thing to note, 100% always work from the center out. So we're gonna start center bolt, work one direction, center bolt, work the other direction. If you start going end first and whatnot, the wicker bill is gonna kind of bubble and, and go and you might have some fitment issues with those holes lining up. We went ahead, put in the rest of the hardware, and now the wicker bill is on the car. We've got a few more steps until everything's done. We're gonna start off with tightening down these bolts. It's a pretty important step. So that's where we're gonna go ahead and take our ratchet. Um, we don't have an official torque spec. Um, the only issue is if you over tighten, especially the ones that go through the center section of the wicker bill, you can crack this uh, acrylic here. I went ahead and hand tighten these with the screwdriver and the Allen key. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and you know give them just a little crank. Again, work center outwards, all right? It does not take much. You know, if you feel it and it's not moving, don't crank down more on it. These things are into plastic, you don't wanna crack that. So let's go ahead and get all these tightened and ensure that this wicker bill is gonna stand up to the forces that it will be exposed to. Gonna go ahead and get our handy dandy little LVA decal bag. We're gonna remove our vinyl decal and get ready for application. Go ahead, get yourself some uh, isopropyl rubbing alcohol. Um, really, any dilution is gonna work. If you don't have isopropyl rubbing alcohol, you can also use a quick detailer of your choice. Just make sure it doesn't have any waxes or sealants in it, because that's gonna um, not promote the bond that we need. So we're gonna spray a little the alcohol on a microfiber towel. Um, we like putting this in between the last two bolts on the right side of the wicker bill. So we're just gonna go ahead, wipe this off, make sure that none of those oils or nasty dirt and debris is gonna get under our sticker application. This decal is pretty much a standard vinyl decal. You're gonna have a clear transfer tape on the top, then the um, uh, decal in the color of your choice underneath and a paper backing. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and kind of press down onto the, the logo. I'm gonna peel that transfer tape and ensure that the decal is coming along with it. You do not want it to stick to the paper. Um, that's gonna result in a bad finish. Perfect. I'm gonna take this, don't touch the vinyl, okay? And we're gonna line it up. Now, make sure it's even with the bottom 
and kind of even between the two. There's no exact science here. You could measure it if you wanted to, but it's not necessary. All right, that looks pretty good. What we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and pat that down nice and flat. So now, as you can see, it's done. No, it's not. Do not leave it like that. That looks terrible. All right, rub in the LVA. You don't have to rub all the transfer tape in. But just go ahead, you can bust out a squeegee if you want. Uh, it's not really necessary. I always put extra force right here on the top of the V since that's the skinniest part. Perfect. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift up one corner of the transfer tape and we're gonna peel back on, like, on top of itself. We're not gonna peel at a 90 degree angle. We're gonna peel back on top of itself. This is gonna ensure that the vinyl sticks to the wicker bill and doesn't get pulled off of the transfer tape. Perfect. Awesome. Now that our decal's on there, um, we're gonna apply two things. Pressure, kind of take your finger, work it in. Again, you can use a squeegee if you want, not necessary. Make sure that everything's down. We're not gonna show it on camera, um, but with any vinyl application, if you want it to last, and you know, you're gonna be wiping this and cleaning it when you wash your car, go ahead, do some sort of a post heat application, whether that is a heat gun, um, an open flame, something, apply a little bit of heat um, on top of this vinyl, and that's gonna ensure that it really locks in and holds on. So we're gonna do that off camera, and then uh, we'll meet you back here for the last step. You are almost done. There's one more step that I don't want you to forget, and that's gonna be wiping all the fingerprints from the installation off of your wicker build before you take all those photos that you're gonna submit to us through Instagram or uh, media at liquidvinyl.com so we can repost them. Take a quick detailer, spray sealant, doesn't really matter of your choice. Um, we like to use this uh, drying aid from obsessgarage.com. It's fantastic. It gives about three weeks of protection. I'm gonna spray a little onto the towel and then we're just gonna wipe off all of the installation fingerprints. Go ahead and get on, you know, along the top and the bottom. There might be some small burrs from the finishing process. Um, just be careful that you're, you know, flip into a clean side of your towel when you buff off those streaks. So a little bit more. Go ahead and do the other side. Get everything nice and crisp. Um, while I'm here, definitely recommend ceramic coating this if you have any experience or putting a sealant on it. Um, the paint on the wicker bill itself, it's rated for about five years of outdoor UV exposure. Um, you know, that's good for most people, but if you really wanna lock that in, go ahead and put some sort of a UV protectant on it. Um, it won't hurt, it's a painted surface, just like an automotive paint, so you can treat it like that. Um, ceramic coating is gonna be your best option, so. All right, we got everything wiped off, and I think we're done. Um, if you made it to this far in the video, hopefully your wicker bill's on, it's looking as good as this one. Um, again, from everyone here, um, I'm Brendan, on behalf of the LVA team, we'd like to thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoy your wicker bill. It's not getting left. <laughs>